Welcome to Sculpt with Christina. This is Christina. So the first thing I did in armature, which is not in the video, and started to sculpt the body, I'm putting a layer for her face with my thumbs making circular motion to put the indent for the pre-baked eyes to go. The pointer tool is really neat because you can just use it as almost kind of like a sharp edge knife that you can scrape out some areas if you want. So like around the eyes and a good tip to do is to use both your thumbs or your fingers at the same time and then that way you're evening out at the same rate on each side of the face to make it more even. Keep on moving on to other spots of the face and coming back. It just takes a lot of time to just smooth out where you want smoothed out and I like to roughly do it with a tool and then really smooth it out with my fingers to make it um, no edges or rough spots. Some people like to, after that, take a q-tip and soak it with alcohol and then rub it again to get the fingerprints out, but I'm not really fussed about taking fingerprints out of my sculptures. I figure, you know what? If um, years and years and years go by and they're wondering who made the sculpture, they could figure it out by my fingerprint. So, hey, okay, it's little signatures everywhere. <laughs> So just keep redefining the areas that you want. Making some teeth. Be careful, I do this a lot. I use my blade and I cut right onto my finger and I don't want you guys to get cut, but that's just how I do it. And Usually my knives are pretty dull by this point anyways. With sculpting the lips, I add some color into some flesh tone and mix it the same base color. So yeah, using decorative scissors is a really neat trick of getting some lace look to your, to your sculpture. I wanted to have the backdrop of the bar and instead of sculpting it with clay because that gets quite heavy and cumbersome, I decided to do it with foam. So right now I'm building a structure to go underneath to prop it up. So an easy trick to figure out where you're supposed to cut is to take some paint, paint that side of the wire because it's going to be hidden anyway so it doesn't really matter. Take your inside piece of foam cord and place it in the spot where you want it and push against the paint. And when you take it off, you're going to see the paint area is what areas you need to cut out. Again, I want some matching colors, so I'm using that red glitter foam again to make the seat. And then I made her a paper hat, so this is just folding up the paper hat. I hope this video is giving you some inspiration to do some creations of your own. If you want to show me what you came up with because of this video, you can hashtag because sculpting with Christina all one word on Instagram and I will check them out till the next time